Hello artists. This is a follow along video. It is a continuation of working on your 3D letters. So the last time we sh I showed you how to do block letters. So now what we're going to be doing is turning a block letter into a 3D letter to make it look like it's popping out. So the first thing you need to have is at least two letters. Please do an A and a D. I'm going to let you go ahead and you can pause the video so you can go and draw these out with pencils. You need an A and you need a D. If you don't remember how to do block letters, go back to the previous video and watch that on how to do letters like this. Did you pause and go back? Okay. So this is continuing after you already have some letters made. What you're going to start with is you're going to look at some of these corners. And remember how we did boxes? where the lines were going away from the edges of the box, kind of like this, where you had these diagonal lines to help make it look 3D. We're gonna do something kind of like that. So what you're gonna start with on your letter A is you're gonna start off with, let's do the top right corner, and you're gonna draw a little diagonal line, just like that. Then you're gonna start moving around to every corner on here to do the same thing. But if the line would go into the letter, you're not gonna draw it. So there's not gonna be any line here. So if I go down, there's gonna be a line here, line here, and they should all be about the same size. Here's a corner, but this goes into the letter, so I'm not gonna draw it. Same with all of these. All of these part corners go into the letter. This one does, and this one, and this one, but not this one. Once you've got those lines drawn, the next step is kind of like a connect the dots. We're gonna connect these two, and then these two. Now, we're not gonna connect this one to here. Because what's happening is this line would actually be going up towards the line that you can't see. So you didn't draw a line here and you're not gonna connect this to anything because what it connects to would be inside the letter. But then that goes across and then we can connect again. There and there. Now for shading, Kind of like the box where you had three different shades, a light, a medium, and a dark, this is going to be the same. So we're gonna do all of the ones that are on the side are going to be light shading. We'll leave the top just plain white. So some light shading, light shading on this, light shading on this. Now for the bottoms, those are going to be a bit darker. So we'll shade those in nice and dark. And there's your 3D A, look at that. So now I'm gonna show you what to do when you have a letter that has a curve, because it's a little different than if you have uh, corners. So first we'll start with all the corners. We'll go in the same direction that we did the A. So this corner is not going to get a line. Bottom corner is. This corner? Nope. This corner? Yes. So here's how a curve will work. Whatever direction your corner line is going, you're going to be doing a line like that on the side that has a curve, but you want it to be as far over as you can. I'll show you what that means. That means if I line up a ruler or a straight piece of paper on that corner, if I push the ruler straight up, you can see I still have some of the D showing. I'm gonna keep going until there's only a tiny bit left. That's where I'm gonna draw my line from. All right. Now we're going to connect them 
and we're going to follow the curve that this letter did. So we're going to curve up to there. Now for the one on the inside, remember how corners would have a line that are going in the same direction, but we don't see it. So this will go down like it's going to that corner. And since this is a curve, so is this. So our flat side here, we can color that in lightly. Shade that in. And this is also a side. So we're gonna start by shading it lightly. But since this curves to the bottom, that's going to be dark, just like this will be dark. We want this to blend in, just like when we did our cylinder shapes. So when you're doing a curve shape, it goes from light to dark. So this is a curve. So we're going to start light. And then as we get further, we're going to start getting darker. light to dark. And there it is. Now you can change the directions too. So you need to do A and D. You don't have to do this, but I want you to watch so that you can see how it works. So both of these, I went in the same direction. You can go in different directions. You can even go up. So let's go a different direction on this R. We're going to go Corners first, up, up. This goes inside the R, so I don't draw it. Same with this, up. That one goes in, that one goes in. Both of these will go in. And I can go ahead and just connect that. Boom. Now for the curve. I'll use my ruler, line it up on the line. Watching this, I'm gonna go up, so there's my new line, and that's going to curve. Now, this part's a tiny bit tricky because we can't see the two diagonal lines that are here. But part of this curve may still end up working. So there would be a line right here, which means that these two would connect. And then this part would make a curve. Let's see. That would make a curve going around here. So just a little bit of a peek on that one. Now, since we're doing a shading on this, now that we have a top to our letter, we're going to leave that as our lightest part. Then we're going to lightly shade the side and that side. And this one's a curve, but this part is like the top, it's facing up, and then the curve is light. So just do a tiny bit of really light shading. And then our R, the main face of the R, will make it dark. So this is just a practice one on the R. You may wanna try doing a couple of different letters. Use some of the letters that maybe you made before. And you can just add some diagonal lines to start working on making it look 3D. If you want to practice, I would recommend practicing some of the little letters in your name that you did on the first one as well. Because you're going to need that for our, the final step in all of this. And we'll just finish shading this in nice and neat. Blend that in. Very nice. All right. 
If you want to do a letter and you're getting stuck on how to make it 3D, let me know and I can add videos onto this video. If there's a letter in particular you want to see, I can really quick show you how to do that letter. There are also other tutorials on YouTube that you can look up if you want to learn how to do some other letters. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.